I'm gonna transform this backyard into the biggest igloo possible. This snow is so deep. Just check out my footprints. It just sinks right into the snow. And that's not even as far as it goes. Dude. Hello. It is so dark now. It's way taller it's than way you. taller than me. If you look at it from the right angle, it looks like it's bigger than the house. So. Everyone on this block has shoveled their backyards onto the pile. When they wake up, it's just gonna be grass when they look out the window. <laughs> it's day two, and unfortunately today it's much warmer. It's like 47 degrees, so everything is melting like crazy. So I'm gonna start building the inside of the igloo. I'm gonna have to be doing this all myself because Matthew's still in school. And we only have one working shovel. So pretty much I've done the entire video. So guys, like this video and subscribe. I'm gonna build an entrance right here. I mean, it was hard enough to put that snow in a pile, and now I have to scrape it all out through this one exit. So it's been a few hours, and it's time for a little update. I'm in the igloo. I can actually sit up really comfortably in here. I feel so incredibly tired and I feel like I'm making no progress. And the farther I dig in, the longer it takes to dig out because I have to move it all to the entrance and out. And the igloo's getting bigger, so it just seems like I'm moving slower. This pile of snow is all from the snow that inside of the igloo that I scooped out. It pretty much takes up the width of our whole backyard. Matthew finally I'm showed here. up. Oh man, this is small. All right, so you might think it doesn't look very big, but look at I can almost stand up. What? I think I'm gonna try and stay the night in here. We still have a lot more to dig this way, farther back, and a bit more to this side. Let's build up. The plan is to build up so there's not a lot of snow to fall on us if it collapses. Oh, oh you break it. It just keeps on going up. The crazy thing is we haven't even dug at all on this side. Rune number two. For my view, this place is huge. It's huge, like I can stand up. I'm in a second room back here. We have so much more to build. We're gonna build another room on this side. Oh my goodness, what did you do to this shovel? I completely destroyed the This is the fourth the broken one. <laughs> Here's our collection of broken shovels. Wow, this thing looks epic. We are gonna make a second entrance on the other side of our snow pile and reach the like main part of the igloo. So hopefully it'll be like a secret room back here. Secret entrance time, I guess it's just another way for coyotes and raccoons to get in. But it also makes our igloo a lot cooler. A shovel or something, I found a shovel. You're kidding, no. All right. It's not even ours. Shout we had no clue. To whoever lived here before us. Don't worry, we'll not break that shovel. Look at this hole I made. I can go in here. Tommy's in here and he's breaking through to my side. Tommy, go! Oh, I can see you. I can see your shovel. Oh my goodness. Look no at the way, hole. Dude. dude, this is crazy. Whoa. But now we have made the igloo go from both ends. And we're gonna... We're gonna cover this back up and make it a secret little room. Red eyes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you had red eyes. Like you red eyes. There's still some more space to build over here. 
the worst part about this whole thing is it's gonna melt in a few days and at least we captured it on a video. I mean, this is pretty much every kid's dream right now, building this massive igloo. All right, so the igloo is finally complete. Time to admire my handiwork. We're gonna try to spend the night in here later, come out later. Matthew's gotta do some more homework and then uh, see how long we can last. All right, go get Isabel. Okay. Hold on, let's cover it up. We're gonna cover it up with this blanket. This is Matthew. Now where's Matthew? He is in this igloo. He has to be in here. Where is he? He's somewhere in this igloo. He's obviously by the comforter. By the comforter? Yeah. Or in it, something. No way. No. He's actually No, not. it curves. Oh my, that actually goes so far. We're gonna stay the night. No. My prediction is Matthew lasts 30 minutes. 30 <laughs> minutes? Okay. Um, Dude, well, 30... I literally have a no. test tomorrow. My teacher's gonna have no clue I was sleeping in an igloo. All right, so uh, we don't have a door, but we do have a literal gate. All right, no raccoons are coming in here. All right, so the last person to leave this igloo is the winner. Matthew will have his eyes closed for an hour in the car, and then we'll say, oh, he's fake sleeping, and then he'll smile. Dude, my feet feel like they're gonna fall off. I can't believe how cold my feet are. Dude, I don't know what to do right now. All right, it's three in the morning. Well, I started in the morning and now I'm ending the next day. So 24 hour challenge. 3 a.m. challenge. I mean, honestly, 24 hour challenges are never 24 hours. They're like 12 hours. And we spent at least 12 hours in here. We spent like the last two days in here. Yeah, we spent like the last two days in here building this, so. I want to do this for you guys. I don't want to get my toes cut off. All right, well, on that note, <laughs> we're going inside. <laughs> the warmth at last. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe.